We are on task number four of our ice cream project, and this is our fourth and final task for this one. Uh, today you're just going to be drawing some conclusions. You're going to be thinking about all the things that you did over the last few class periods, uh, making ice cream, eating the ice cream, how you made the ice cream, uh, and just answer some questions about that. Uh, make sure that you answer uh, in detail. This is your opportunity to share with your teacher what you learned, so we want to have as much detail as possible. We also want to answer the essential question today of how does the mixing method affect the outcome of making ice cream. Hopefully last class you were able to kind of observe some of your classmates and, and see like which, which mixing methods seem to work better. Um, you might have also used different methods so as you tried one uh, you maybe switched to a different mixing method and you thought hey this works this actually is working better and so that's our question today that's going to guide us in our conclusions, but how does, how does the way that you mix the ice cream affect kind of the outcome that you had? So at this point, let's pause the video and open up your design notebook. So our design notebook is open. So if you look at the project plan, again, we have day four. So with your teacher, you should be kind of reviewing what chemical engineering uh, is and kind of the data, the observations that you made when you made ice cream last time. And then today, your homework, your independent work, is to answer the evaluating questions. Make sure all the essential questions are answered. And then turn in your design notebook, because we're done with this project after this. So let's click on day four, the bookmark that will drop us down to the start of day four. Again, our essential question, how does, mixing, how does the mixing method affect the outcome of making ice cream? Okay. And today, again, you're going to answer the following conclusion questions. You're going to just reflect on this whole process of making your ice cream and it looks like rice cream that sounds kind of gross but ice cream uh, you want to be detailed in the explanations that you give and use complete sentences so write complete sentences so the questions you're going to answer what were some of your specific observations about the temperature of your Ziploc bag when you were making ice cream so go back to the data that you collected last time up here <coughs> Excuse me. Next question, what were the actual ice temperatures that you took during the process? What happened to the temperatures? Why did that happen? What mixing method did your group use? Was it effective? So what were some of your observations with that? And then overall, just how long did it take you to make your ice cream? Those are the must-answer questions. We feel that you should answer this question. How does the texture of your ice cream compare to other groups in the class who used a different mixing method? So hopefully you were kind of making some of those observations as you went. Another must-answer question, how does your ice cream taste compare to what you bought in the store or what you could buy in the store? Was it as good? Was it better? Was it worse? Why? Give an explanation for that as well. And then an aspire to answer question, notice the pink background. How could a chemical engineer help you if you wanted to sell this recipe so you could make thousands of gallons of ice cream a day? So what would a chemical engineer do to help you do that, help you make money off of your recipe that you just made? Once you're done with those, we've got our summary. So what's something that you learned along the way? And what was one thing that you were successful with as you did these conclusions and wrote your responses? And then you see the stop sign the end of day four. Before you submit this, go back through this. Make sure that every day you have your essential question answered. So here's day four's essential question. Go back, here's day three's essential question. Day two, your essential question. Uh, why is salt used when making ice cream? And then our day one essential question, how might a chemical engineer be involved in this whole ice cream making process? So make sure you have all those answered, your vocabulary done, your daily summaries. Once you have all of that done, uh, make sure you submit your design notebook. So go back again through the project plan and just double check that everything's done. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this activity. Um, when you are finished, if you have any questions, make sure you reach out to your teachers, but when you're done, get it turned in. Good luck.